Good morning and welcome to Trinity Episcopal School Morning Worship. Our service begins today on page six of your worship booklet. Send out your light and your truth that they may lead me and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Please stand. Open our lips, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our worship continues on page 7 of your worship booklet. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for you to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Please be seated and read with me Psalms 75. It's found at the bottom of page 27 in your worship booklet. We give you thanks, O God, we give you thanks, calling upon your name and declaring all your wonderful deeds. I will appoint a time, says God, I will judge with equity. Though the earth and all its inhabitants are quaking, I will make its pillars fast. I will say to the boasters, boast no more. I will say to the wicked, do not toss your horns. Do not toss your horns so high, nor speak with a proud neck. For judgment is neither from the east nor from the west, nor yet from the wilderness or the mountains. It is God who judges. He puts down one and lifts up another. For the Lord's hand there is a cup full of spiced and foaming wine, which he pours out. And all the wicked of the earth shall drink and drain the dregs. But I will rejoice forever. I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. He shall break off all the horns of the wicked, but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. As Jesus approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. When he heard the crowd going by, he asked what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He called out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Those who led the way rebuked him and told him to be quiet. But he shouted all the more, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and ordered the man to be brought to him. When he came near, Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do for you? Lord, I want to see, he replied. Jesus said to him, Receive your sight. Your faith has healed you. 
Immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus, praising God. When all the people saw it, they also praised God. The word of the Lord. Please stand and read with me a song of praise found on page 8 of your worship booklet. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple. On the throne of your majesty, glory to you. Glory to you, seated between the cherubim, we will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, beholding the depths and the high vaults of heaven, glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please recite with me the Apostles' Creed found on page 10 of your worship booklet. I believe in God the Father, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate. He was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Please remain standing. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Show us your mercy, O Lord. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. Lord, keep this nation under your care. Let your way be known upon the earth. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Create in us clean hearts, O God. Amen. Please recite with me the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. A Collect for Grace Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A collect for guidance. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our scripture reading today is based upon a true event, not a parable. 
Now I'm reminding you of that because we've spoken a lot about parables in chapel this year. Jesus would often teach in parables to, to help people understand things they could relate to, like earthly stories, earthly events, and relate them to spiritual matters. So parables are one characteristic of Jesus's earthly ministry, while miracles like the story we read today of the blind man is another character trait of Jesus's earthly ministry. The purpose of miracles was to show the people the true identity of Jesus as being the Son of God. You see, the prophet Isaiah foretold that the Messiah would open the eyes of the blind. In our gospel reading today in Luke, we read about a blind beggar who is actually identified in Matthew's gospel as being a man named Bartimaeus. And today what I'd like to do is talk a little bit about the faith that we see in this blind beggar. So when Bartimaeus hears that Jesus is nearby, he cries out, Son of David, have mercy on me. You see, Bartimaeus, by calling Jesus the Son of David, was recognizing that Jesus was this long-awaited Messiah that his nation had so earnestly been looking for. But the crowd tries to keep Bartimaeus quiet. But we see Bartimaeus becoming even more persistent, growing louder. Finally, he does get the attention of Jesus, who asks his disciples to, to bring the man over to him. I can imagine Bartimaeus' excitement. He jumps up, he goes to Jesus, and Jesus asks him a very simple question. What would you like me to do for you? Bartimaeus is a beggar, remember. He needs a lot of things. Definitely food, definitely money, but Bartimaeus has so much faith in Jesus as the Messiah that he's not asking for these small material things. He says, teacher, Help me receive my sight. You see, there's, there's no pretense here in this man. There's, there's no religious pride. He doesn't give Jesus a long list of his good deeds or come up with excuses as to why he should be healed. He simply expresses his desire to receive his sight. He's also trusting that Jesus is not only willing but capable of giving him what he's asked for. Go make your faith, sorry, <laughs> your faith has made you healed. You see, what Jesus is doing here is he is emphasizing just how important faith is in our life. You see, Bartimaeus has the kind of faith that pleases God. He has a wholehearted trust that he is the healer. He earnestly sought the Lord and his actions reflect this kind of faith that is very pleasing to God. Now, is there anything that you and I can learn from Bartimaeus? I think there's a whole lot we can learn from him. First of all, like Bartimaeus, we can ask Jesus to help us and believe that Jesus can help us. And when he calls us, we should go. And we should never, ever let anything stop us, get in our way, or even slow us down. But most importantly, we can be a follower of Jesus, exchanging our old life for a new life that we find in him. Amen. Please recite with me the Trinity School Prayer. It's found on page 12 of your worship book. Almighty God, bless Trinity Episcopal School, its teachers and students, that it may be a lively center for sound learning, new discovery, and the pursuit of wisdom, and grant that those who teach and those who learn may find you to be the source of all truth through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's continue with the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for your creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your unmeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray 
Give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, with whom you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all the ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as best be for us, granting us this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen.